Welcome to Chemistry 1405. I'll go ahead and start with the course syllabus. Once you click on the link, please notice the syllabus should upload immediately. My name is Akua White and I'll be the instructor of the course. To reach me at any point, go ahead and send me an email. For the most part, I have my phone with me and so I'll be able to reach you even if I'm in my office. But since um, this is December and most faculty are not on campus, I may not be in my office most of the time, so please do not try to call the office. The easiest way to get a hold of me is through email. For this course, you will need this required textbook. I have been informed that the bookstore was not able to get the textbook in time for this semester, or at least for the winter semester, because I changed the ISBN requirement. For you to get access to this textbook, either the ebook format or the hard copy format, you have to use the link that was provided in the first course assignment folder. You can use that link and that will take you to uh, a website that allows you to buy the ebook and the OWL access code. You will need the OWL access code to access your homework. You cannot access your homework on any other website but the Cengage website. I will talk about this a little bit more later on. For right now, I want us to move and look at the required lab manual. The required lab manual, Introductory Chemistry Laboratory Manual, can be purchased on lulu.com. This is actually a link, so when you click here, it should take you automatically to the required lab manual. What we're seeing right here is a paperback version, and I will actually recommend you don't take this because it takes three to five business days just to print it. What I recommend is that you get the PDF version instead. The PDF version pretty much looks the same. The difference is that once you pay for this, you will receive an e-copy, e-book of the lab manual. That way you receive the copy instantly. You don't have to wait for it to be printed. So I recommend that you get the e-book version of the lab manual. But while you're waiting to purchase the, the lab manual, I have provided the first two labs that you're required to complete and turn in on eCampus. So when you look at the first, I think it's the second folder and the third folder, the second folder and the third folder in the course assignments should have these two labs uploaded. You can go ahead and complete those when you're done. All the subsequent labs, all the following labs will be obtained in this lab manual after you have purchased it. Going back to our syllabus. For some reason, the link keeps disappearing, so I have to go and access it that way. We're moving on to the scientific calculator, which you can purchase any scientific calculator from uh, either Walmart or Amazon or whatever website you want to use, or if you have a math class, your calculator will work for this course also. Now we're looking at the lab supply. You need to have a lab kit. The lab kit comes from Home Training Tools. This is also a link, so when I click on that, it should take us directly, well, it's supposed to be directly to the Home Training Tools kit required for this course. For whatever reason, we're right here, and the kit we use is the CE Kit 01. So CE Kit 01 should populate in a second. That's our kit right here. The price changes from time to time. It looks like they may ha be having a sale or something. I hope you can use that code for the kit. If not, the kit is usually around uh, between $47 and $50. You will need this kit to, to complete most of the labs. Okay? With the kit, you want to purchase the kit as soon as possible because it takes a while for it to actually arrive at your home. But the one thing I want to say, some of the labs do not require the kit. So while you're waiting on the kit to arrive, go ahead and work on the labs that do not require the kits. That way you're not falling behind. I'm going to go back to the syllabus link. So back here in the syllabus, we can move on from the requirements for the course there is a list of lab chemicals that is actually listed on the announcement tab and I'll talk about that when we go back to look at eCampus. For right now, I want to look at the points required for this course. The way the course is graded is based on points and the points equal a percentage. So these points here equal a minimum of 90%. And how do I get these points right here? The total points you can earn from this course is 930. 
So I take 0.9, which is the same thing as 90%, multiply it by 930, and we get 837. That means that if you earn 837 to 930 points, you get an A in the course. And so instead of emailing me and asking me how you're doing in the course, every assignment you work on from this list right here will allow you to accumulate points, and the points pretty much take you through different levels of grading. So if your goal in this course is to get an A, then you're trying to work for maximum points. You're trying to work for 930. But if you get 837, you have an A. Okay? If your goal is to get a C in this course, then you're only trying to get to 651 points. It's all up to you. By the first day of the course, you're supposed to turn in a lab safety form, which you sign and upload on eCampus. That gets you 20 points. You're also supposed to read the syllabus and the completed quiz. You can take that over and over again until you get, get a perfect score. That gets you another 20 points. So on the first day alone, you can score, you can earn 40 points quite a lot of points for the first day. Please know that each exam is worth 100 points and you do have four exams total. So from your exams, you can get up to 400 points. Yes, your exams are actually less than half of the course points. Homework counts for 180 points. You have 12 homework assignments, including the introductory assignments. Each assignment is worth 15 points. Vocabulary assignments, you have 11 of them. Each is worth 10 points to make 110 points. Laboratory assignment. Each laboratory assignment is worth 20 points. When you do all the assignments, turn them in, get a perfect score, you get 200 points. So you pretty much use the points to figure out the grades you want. Okay. Last but not least, we have a withdrawal date, December 22nd of this year. And then, of course, we have our course tabs. So when you go onto eCampus, under the course assignment uh, link, when you click on that, you see course tabs. Those course tabs should correspond with the due dates of the assignments. So we have all these due dates here, and there should be a course folder for each of these due dates. And the folder pretty much houses or holds all the assignments that are due on the date. So for example, on the 11th of December, which is tomorrow, you should make sure that you explore eCampus, read the syllabus, complete this, the quiz, submit the lab safety form via eCampus, let's see. And so all of these should be available in the folder. Not only that, we also have one more over here. Look, you should have the introductory homework assignment due. So you have these assignments due and all of these will be together in a folder on eCampus. So this is pretty much all the important information that you need to know ASAP. You can read the rest of the information later on on your own time. For now, I want to go back and look at eCampus.